everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Mel this is my six and today we're going to be taking part in crafting divas tag tuesday collaboration so i hope you guys enjoy today's video so hi everyone and welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are all very well today we're going to be taking part in lisa who's crafting divas tag tuesday collaboration all those who are joining in with the collaboration i'll leave all the links in the box below so please do go and subscribe to our channels please do like their videos and please do comment on their videos as well for this week's theme it is the word travel so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you like today's video then please do give this video a like comment and a subscribe and let's get into it so this is the tag that I've made for this week's prompt and um, this tag measures six by three and a quarter and I've just used a 300 GSM card base um, to kind of um, put the pattern paper on top. I always try and use a card base, so it's quite thick and sturdy. So I've used the I Heart Travel Collection by Doodlebug as these gorgeous kind of red and blue prints here with some of the grey stamps as well to use as the patterned paper. And I've just laid it on top of the 300 GSM cardstock. I've just put these patches here. It says, um, pack your bags and see the world. It also says, vacation of a lifetime. These are some lovely kind of um, luggage um, patches that you can put on your suitcase. I've also just put the flags here. So this is the Japanese flag and the Spanish flag. And then what I've done is I've actually just um, glued um, a strip of some of the patterned paper from the same collection. So this has the blue, red and white stripes. And this one actually has airplanes in the background of the second stripe so these go all the way down just to kind of give the tag a little bit more interest and matches the print because most of the print is um, red white and blue I've also around the sides just um just um um just decorated the sides and just inked the sides with a blender I've just used um salvage patina which is a distress oxide ink from um, ranger tim holt and I've just done that all the way around the tag and then I've just put this in red and white twine here at the top. And again, on the same on the um, patches and on the flags, I've just um, I've just edged sides with some salvage patina as well. It's just a light blue colour. I've also in the red inks I used um, I think I used Rosy Cheeks by Simon Hurley, and I've just put some um, prints of just some numbers. So this one. Um, has um, some random numbers on there and I've actually put this one here that you might be able to see and it's basically like a stamp like an air mouse stamp so I've just repeated the pattern across the actual pattern paper just so it kind of matches it uh, matches with the red tones in there because I use mainly the red ink to actually just stamp these random numbers and these are from woodware Again, I'll put all the product names in the box below if you'd like to have a look at the products that I've used. Then I've done the same on the other side. You might be able to actually see some of the stamps a little bit more clearer. So this is the number stamp that I've used. Again, it's a woodware one. And then what I've done is I've put the, the airmail stamp here as well. I've just included this odds and ends um, destination from the um, collection. I'll just put that at the back as well so I can actually write my destination in that box. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the tag that I've made. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the tag that I've made for the Tag Tuesday collaboration hosted by the lovely Crafting Diva. I'll leave everybody's links in the box below. So please do go and check out their channels and please do go and have a look at their videos that they're uploading today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then please do give this video a like, comment and a subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video.